Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to give a quick demonstration of how to use the new Lenovo touchpads. There's been a lot of frustration with these, a lot of poor reviews about the touchpad. Um, and I really, to be honest, I had a very negative experience with the with the touchpad. This is the Lenovo T540P, um, and one of my relatives has an idea pad, uh, I think U430 or something like that. Anyways, um, very similar touchpads, how they're basically, it's just one giant, uh, one giant touchpad. There's no more physical buttons at the bottom anymore. This one kind of has them, but it's actually these are still this is still touch sensitive also. Um, so the whole sur surface is touch sensitive. There's no more just physical buttons that are not touch sensitive anymore. And like I said, uh, I had a very negative experience with these. Oh, and by the way, sorry, I'm recording this on a phone. I don't have a tripod or anything or a very fancy camera. Um, but I just wanted to get across this message very quickly um, to try and help people out who might be having the prob having problems themselves using this touchpad because I just realized that I was using it completely wrong and then when I changed how I used it, um, it got much easier. Now, so you're probably using the touchpad like I was, like this. Uh, I, have, um, I have one finger on the touchpad to move around, scroll around with the, move my cursor around the screen, and then I have my thumb resting down here, it's ready to click. That's, this is how we would usually have our, our hands, at least in my experience. This is how I would have my hands, have my hand, um, because I'm used to there being a physical set of keys right here. And so my thumb is used to sitting on the physical key, um, being ready to left click or move over here to right click, if need be. So the problem is these touchpads are multi-touch. So uh, sometimes... Uh, if you have, if you, for example, if you have two fingers on the touchpad, you can use this to scroll up and down, going like this. Like if we look up here, this will scroll up and down. All right. Now, um, and if I have the fingers, if I move the fingers left and right, it would scroll left and right. If the page was, if the page was uh, big, wide enough, um, and I can also do kind of cool things like I can zoom in and zoom out like this, like by pinching to zoom. And I think this was first made popular like with Apple's products, um, and a lot of other companies have uh, have taken the same multi-touch gestures. So, for example, you can see I'm zooming in, zooming out, um, just by pinching and um, expanding my thumb and finger. The problem is when, and I'm just going to reset the screen to normal. The problem is when I'm the touchpad drivers or whatever, I unfortunately, I don't think are very sensitive. Um, and so it can't tell the difference sometimes that like, okay, that I have my thumb here just waiting to click on something. Um, and so sometimes it just detects it as like, oh, I see two fingers on the touchpad, even though I just have even though I just have my thumb down here waiting to click on something and my my other fingers for scrolling or for moving the cursor around, it senses it like, oh, you want to you want to zoom in or zoom out or, oh, you want to scroll up or down or left and right. And that can be very frustrating. Um, and the other problem is like when I left click, I would often like my the cursor would move off of the thing that I was trying to click on um, because this area is touch sensitive also. Um, and so there's a, like a little bit of conflict between the touch, the touch that the computer's sensing from my index finger and the touch that it's sensing from my, uh, my thumb. And so oftentimes you've probably had this experience too where you, you move to where you want the cursor to be and then when you left click, um, the cursor moves off of the thing that you're trying to click on. Very frustrating, very annoying. So how do you use the new touchpad? Here's what you do. Get rid of your thumb. Don't chop it off, but just like, don't use it on the touchpad. Take a finger, okay? And just use your finger. And the thing to understand about this is that this whole touchpad is one giant physical button, okay? You can actually press down anywhere. You don't just have to use here, the lower left corner and the lower right corner for clicking. You can actually use the entire touchpad to click. Like if I press down here, I move the whole key. I move the whole touchpad down, and that registers as a left click. I can scroll, so I can move my mouse. I can move my mouse to wherever I want to be, and then click. Move the cursor. Click. Move the cursor. Click. 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 I can click down anywhere on the touchpad. I don't need to have my thumb sitting down here on the lower left corner waiting to click. I can just use my index finger and click anywhere. And that's going to be as a left click, whether it be on a menu item, some text I want to highlight, whatever. 
The next question is, okay, how do I right click? You can use like, okay, so the lower left corner is dedicated for right, is dedicated for left clicking. The lower right corner is dedicated for right clicking, but there's an easier way. You can actually, whenever you have two fingers on the touchpad and then press down, that registers as a right click. So this is great. So just think about this. I can just move my cursor around, press down, and that's a left click. If I move my mouse to somewhere where I, the cursor to where I want to be and I want to right click on something, just move it, put two fingers on, click down, and then that's going to register as a right click. So basically, just the idea is get your thumb off of the touchpad. Don't, don't put it on there anymore. Don't let it even rest on there. And after I got used to this, very intuitive, very easy to, I found it very easy to use. And I was clicking around and moving around with much more accuracy, no hassles at all. Um, and this also works on this touchpad too, like this whole thing. You might not realize it because you're, me, you and me are so used to having the physical keys down here. So we're so used to clicking down here where we're used to having our thumb again like this. But you can actually click down anywhere on this touchpad, like in the upper left corner, upper right corner, in the middle, the left side, the right side, and so you're good to go. And the same as here, like uh, this has, the ThinkPads have the track point, which I do like, um, but a lot of us, we do enjoy using the touchpad too. So this is a different thing. This is a set of buttons specifically for the track point when using this little guy. Um, but for, for the touchpad, it's the same thing on, on the ThinkPads also. You can click anywhere, you can move. Any, any pressing down anywhere is gonna register as a click. So it's great. Now, um, and again, it's the same on the idea pad, touchpad. There's another way that you could do this. Um, there's a, some people enjoy this style more, and that's just tapping. A click is when you push down the whole keypad or the whole touchpad. I keep mixing up keypad and touchpad. When you press down the touchpad and it moves down, okay? That, that's a click. You can also do what's called tapping, and this, happen, this is available on a lot of touchpads. Uh, it's not unique to Lenovo. You can just take a finger, and whenever you want to click on something, you just, that's a tap. Here, let me get this angle better so maybe you can see it better. I'm just touching my finger down gently and letting go. I'm pressing down a little bit, I'm just touching, I'm touching gently but firmly, but I'm not touching it so hard that I push it down. That's a click. This is a tap. Okay, that and if I tap anywhere, that's going to register as a as a left click. If I take two fingers, same similar to clicking. If I take two fingers and tap with both of them, that's going to register as a right click. Okay, so I can so I can also scroll around with a finger, and where I get where to I want to be, and I can just quickly tap, and that's a left click. Or if I get to somewhere and I want to right click, like that. I don't actually have to fully push down the push down the touchpad if that's too unusual for you. So anyways, moral of the story, don't use your thumb. Just move around with a finger to, just move around with, a fi with your index finger to get to where you want to be. Um, uh, you can either press down to, to click or you can just tap to click. Um, press down with two fingers, that's going to be a right click. Or tap with two fingers and that will be a right click. So very cool. Once I got used to it, I really enjoy the touch pads now. Um, and I find it much easier to use. Anyways, hope this helps somebody. Take care. Um, let me know if you still have problems.